DJ and producer looking to take your career to the next level? Do you want to learn from some of the industry's biggest names and gain insider knowledge that you won't learn anywhere else? Well, then you need to hear this. In this video, I'm going to show you why attending dance music conferences is an absolute game changer for DJs and producers' careers. Get ready to discover how attending these events can help you connect with the right people, hone your skills, and unlock a world of opportunities that can take your music career to new heights. So, whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, buckle up and get ready for a ride that can change the course of your career forever. 2023 marks my 20th year of working in dance music. Over the last 20 years, I've built a career, firstly working across a massive nightclub in London called Terminals, and then for the last 15 years running Data Transmission. We are celebrating Data Transmission's 15th birthday this year, and I'm super proud of everything we've achieved with the website and the blog and the radio station, and now the record labels. We've done some amazing things over the last few years, and I'm, I'm constantly trying to push forward. For the last seven years, I've been educating DJs and producers how to level up themselves across social media, getting more music signed, and building themselves into touring DJs. And if you've not watched this video on how to navigate 2023, you should definitely watch that. I see DJs and producers artist career development as a four stage thing. Firstly, your product, then your content, then your community, and also your network. And today I wanna to chat about point number four, your network. A great place to grow your network is dance music conferences. Today we're gonna to look in depth at five key ones which we attend and have been pivotal for data transmissions growth over the year and the artists we've been looking after. And stick around to the end because I'm going to tell you what to do once you get there as well. This industry is actually quite small. You think it's massive. It's a billion dollar industry after all. But what you find when you get into the actual depths of the industry is that many people work across multiple jobs. So who you know as an artist is one of your biggest assets you can have. I've seen DJs not releasing any music, not having very tiny social media, but still playing gigs all throughout the year because of the people they know. This is a people's business after all, and people help other people. So who are you connected to and who's in your network? And that is something you have to constantly work on. On this channel, I talk about building your social networks and how to grow more audience and more fans in your social networks using the free marketing platforms, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, SoundCloud, Spotify. But today, I wanna to chat about your physical network and the people in it. And this all happens at dance music conferences. Conferences are great places to meet people. They're also great places to meet the people you've been speaking on email all year to and actually put a face to an email. With some conferences, you can actually lock down big chunks of what your following year is gonna be like because of the connections you can meet at certain conferences. Conferences can be international affairs or they can be very local affairs. And you get to meet people from all around the industry and all around the world, which is so beneficial when you're trying to grow as an artist. And this can really extend your network. Conferences are also great places to learn from and they're full of insightful panels and discussions. Conferences are great places to meet label owners, promoters, booking agents, managers, press, media, bloggers, website owners, influencers, publishing representatives, and overall industry heads. Conferences are also a great place to get music signed. Loads of these conferences will have label labs where there'll be A&Rs representing loads of the labels at these label labs. We do it obviously on a Monday on my Twitch stream. If you've not been part of those, join my Discord. It's linked in the description. Every Monday we listen to demos and give feedback. And we also invite label owners and label A&Rs into those sessions. And we've had loads of tracks signed on those. But at conferences, you actually get to meet the face-to-face A&R representative and play them your music. And if your music is in, in right that just then, that's still okay because you've made that connection for sending future demos. I've been attending conferences since 2008 and I've made so many friends over the years. I've leveled up Data Transmission's business and made so many more opportunities for myself and Data Transmission from going to conferences. And now I also get to speak at conferences, which is really great fun. So today I'm gonna to look at five conferences and give you the four on one on which ones I think are great. And these are IMS or the International Music Summit in Ibiza, Brighton Music Conference in Brighton, UK, Berlin Dance Music Event in Berlin, Amsterdam Dance Event, obviously in Amsterdam, and Miami Music Week in Miami. But if you know more or you've been to one that's really great, I'd love to know in the comments because I'm always looking for new places to attend and meet new people. Okay, let's start with the International Music Summit or IMS Ibiza as it's commonly known. This happens at Destino, usually at the end of April. I absolutely love IMS Ibiza. I've been to nearly every IMS Ibiza. They're celebrating their 15th year at the time of recording this. And I think I've been to 13 of them. I absolutely love going there. I get always get so much out of it. They're great fun. You get to go to Ibiza at the end of the day, which also has loads of other industry networking people for the, that aren't actually at the conference as well. So win-win. 
But IMS unites innovators, creators, visionaries, and disruptors from across the electronic music ecosystem. And they look at most critical business challenges and opportunities facing our industry today. They usually have topics on things like AI, diversity, booking agents and promoter battles, and Web3, and music journalism and social aspects happening within the dance music scene. They also have the amazing business report, which looks back at the previous year. And these are, that's so insightful. And I love hearing that the business report as a business owner in this scene. They also look at music rights management, publishing, and all of the big business that happens within this industry. They always have an A-list list of speakers. And that's always presented by Pete Tong and Jaguar, who's actually been on this channel as their main hosts. They have an education section called IMS College, which is in partnered with, with Point Blank. In it offers a complete schedule of artist-led DJ and production masterclasses. Also, on they'll be on stage events covering social media, career development, and much more. And delegates will be able to drop into a one-to-one -one feedback session, career coaching, and product demonstrations. Killer, right? Also, YouTube's normally there, and you know where I'll be heading to for my networking for this year. They also have big sections on wellness, and they look after your wellness in a calm section. They have big sections for tech and have most of the tech providers there. So you get to hands on with loads of gear. And then it all finishes with a big rave in a castle called Dolt Villa on top of the hill with some of the biggest names in the industry. It's always a cool party that. Next, let's talk about coming up in May. We've got two coming up in May and that's Brighton Music Conference and Berlin Dance Event. Let's talk about Brighton first. Again, I absolutely love Brighton Music Conference or BMC as it's known. BMC is the award-winning UK-based conference, and it's been around for 10 years this year. And for the last few years, it's been at the i360 in Brighton on the Brighton Seafront, which is absolutely great. They have panels and speakers, and they also have parties in this pod that goes up and down the Brighton 3 i360, which is really cool. Networking is also a big part of BMC, and because it's quite tight and neat, you need to meet loads of people in such a small area. It's really great for that. BMC also has a full panel of Q&As, discussions, workshops, and networking events. And they cover things like sync, publishing, A&R, PR, marketing, management, AI and Web3, metadata, sampling, self-releasing, running a label, mental health, and sustainability. They also have a label lab where they invite labels in and then you get to go one-to-one -to -one with labels to play them your demos. And that's really cool. I know that in the past, they've had loads of records signed from those label labs. So if you're an up and coming producer, get a USB ready and get ready to be part of that. Also, I do a cheeky breakfast there for 10 people. So keep an eye on my Instagram and in my Discord, because I'm going to announce that very soon. There's only be 10 slots. We have a little breakfast round table. We sit and have breakfast and chat all your questions and they're so much fun. I love doing breakfast there. It's called the Blueprint Breakfast. Keep an eye out for it, as I said, on those channels. Next up is Berlin Dance Event. And that's, at the again, at the end of May. Berlin Dance Event is a new conference. It's been running a couple of years. And for me, this is the first time I'm going to be attending this year. It has 100 world-class artists and 50 industry-leading speakers. And it takes place across 15 of Berlin's iconic venues. Well, that sounds fun. You get to explore Berlin. As with other conferences, there are day section and nighttime events. And I'm super, always super excited about going to new conferences in new towns. Because, like I said earlier, you get local brands and artists and labels and people that are just in the local scene attending these local conferences. So for me, who maybe doesn't have as much network in those areas, you get to meet loads of new people and loads of new networking and you get to build your network much wider by attending places you've never been before, which is always great fun. It leads to more opportunities in the future. And you get to also explore the, the towns and the cities of these new places. So that's why I try and check out as many as possible. Okay, next up, we're talking about Amsterdam at dance event, and that's always in October, usually the middle of October, around the 18th, 19th of the month. And it's always from Wednesday to Sunday. Amsterdam at dance event is based in loads of venues around the city. And for me, this is the killer conference. It has over 5,000 delegates, and there are so many festival shows and club shows in the evenings as well across the whole city. I think they have over 250,000 people attend Amsterdam dance event. It's one of the biggest. They have pro sections, they have learning sections, they have tech sections. It's it's a big conference. You literally can achieve anything at Amsterdam Dance Event and you can literally plan your whole following year from some of the meetings you have at that conference. This is obviously because of the timing at the end of the year, but there are, the amount of people there and the opportunities there is amazing. It is one of the first things that goes in our diary. 
You can meet some of the biggest brands like Spotify, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and then also some of the biggest promoters, management companies, booking agents. They all have like suites where you can go and meet the whole team. It's that important for the industry. You can literally meet anyone walking down the street. And I think last year we met Camel Fat. It was amazing. The passes start off cheap, but they do get expensive. And there is a whole range of passes for if you just uh, want to go to certain parts of it and not to all of it. I would definitely go and check out the website for the, all the passes and get a pass early because they definitely go get more expensive as the event gets closer. Then looking forward to next year, we're talking Miami Music Week. And this always happens beginning of March and it's all usually around the sort of second week of March. This is great for us as Europeans because we get to meet all our US friends. And I guess because the US is so big, it's great for people in the US because you get to meet people from different states and from around the whole of the US, which is great networking for both of us. Plus, you get to go to Miami. Who doesn't want to go there? That looks really fun. Okay, so we've looked at which events you should go to and why you should go to them. Let's talk about what you're going to do when you get there. Well, before you even get there, you want to look pre-event. You want to reach out to your own contacts list and hit them up and say, hey, I'm going to such and such conference. Will you be there? I'd love to meet you. Getting a face-to-face -face meeting, as I mentioned earlier, really deepens that connection. You've been sitting there emailing them all year. Having that face-to-face -face really gets a great bond with that person and really helps the connection and the network grow even more so that you do more work going forward. Secondly, you never know when you meet that person that you've been speaking to on email, who they've got with them from their friend group. And that actually can extend your network and spider web it out. Some of the conferences have pre-systems that you can log into when you get your ticket, and you can actually arrange meetings from their pre-system. You get to get access to all of the contacts within the network and you can message them to create meetings. Also for me, if you're a brand new artist and brand new and you don't know anyone and you're looking to try and grow your network, then the best thing to do with these conferences is look at their panels and the discussions and look at what you want to see and who's speaking. By going to these panels, the panelists usually hang around afterwards. And if it's someone that you want to get into your network, go and watch the panel, learn from them, and then grab a few seconds afterwards. And then what you want to do is you want to build yourself a schedule and a plan of your attack. Do not forget to put in lunch. I've done this so many times. I've had a full day of stuff and then got halfway through the day and realized I've got no time to eat or have a drink. Stupid mistakes. You need to refuel your body with food and water because these are tiring, long days and you need to be at your peak when you're networking or whether you're having conversations. So make sure you put in time for lunch. Then when it comes to the networking hours at the end of each day, and these definitely happen at all conferences and some like IADE happen across the whole of the city. These are great for meeting loads of people. And again, if you're brand new and you know no one, I would go in there with a mindset and say, I'm going to find 10 new contacts from this networking event. And what you've got to really do is just be brave. Go up to people and say, hey, who are you? What do you do? And that's going to be super nervy. Don't worry, I brick myself every time when I have to do this. Tell them that you're new and you're trying to make a bigger network for yourself. You'll find they don't bite your head off and will chat to you and you'll find you'll get some great new connections out of this. So are you going to be attending any of these conferences or have you attended conferences that I've not listed? I'd love to know if there's ones that I don't know about in the comments. Let me know that you're the ones you've been to in the comments below. And if you're going to be attended, let me know as well, because I'd love to meet up with you. Just comment at me in the comments if you're going to be attending and let's connect at one of these conferences this year. Some of the reasons you go to conferences is to get more contacts to get you more DJ gigs. Do you want to play at festivals this summer? Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to go from your couch to the festival stage. Before you go over there, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel because I put out brand new videos every week. And I'll see you over there where I'm going to tell you how to get more gigs this summer. You will play more festival shows. Yes, yes, you will.